So we've arrived. We are officially in Beijing. It's our first stop on the way to the Taihang Mountains. While we're here, we are getting the opportunity to go have a culinary lesson in the old neighborhoods called hutongs here in Beijing. And this particular hutong is called Nine Corners. And we're going to the hutong kitchen to meet with our chef teacher of the day, Sue, who's going to give us some culinary lessons and healthy Chinese cooking. Hi. Hi. So we're your teacher, yeah. So we are going to make traditional Chinese dumplings. Everything from scratch. Um, we're going to make the dough from scratch, and we're going to make the fitting from scratch. So what we're making here today, dumplings are a very traditional Chinese dish. And from what I understand, they can be eaten as an appetizer, a main course. Breakfast. Breakfast. Yeah. It looks like some very basic ingredients here. So this is something we can actually take away with us today and, and make back in the States. Definitely, yeah. In China, we eat a lot of pork. So we use minced pork together with the garlic chive or the leek. So what we have here is carrot juice. That's for you. And spinach wow, juice. That. Yeah. That adds a bit of color to it. Yes. A flair. As yeah, we flair. Say. <laughs> <laughs> so knead it together and push it away. We're going to chop everything with the cleaver. Tell me the importance of the ingredients and the freshness of the ingredients. I know in this type of cooking, especially that you do here at this school, it's really yeah. important that you use local, fresh ingredients that are in season, yeah. just the way nature intended it. Good like ingredients, good material. That's the only thing you need to to have like nice foods. Food and culture are really like you know linked with each other. When we're in China, we don't say "Hey, how are you?" No, that's not the opening sentence we are we are saying in China traditionally. What we say is like "Ni tsu le ma." Tsiloma means like, have you eaten already? That's what's opening sentence. You're kidding. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so I like, like that. Tsiloma. We're going to spoon in the meat in the center of the wok, about like one teaspoon. But I think your dumplings will getting really huge dumplings, but it's good. I'm gonna make some big dumplings. It's like right. really big, but it's good. <laughs> I'm gonna just make one as big as I can. <laughs> to like... Like just <laughs> stuff it completely. So there are actually different ways to cook uh, the dumpling. The traditional uh, way northern people are eating the dumpling is actually boiling it. So okay. just slide it in like ah. this. That's the best way. Use the shape of the wok. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That one is massive. Yeah. <laughs> that Maybe. would be one of mine. Are you ready for some food? All right. Ready. Yeah. Manja. Yeah. Let's eat. Manja. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Mm. How is it? Oh my god. Wow. Where's the good. hard work? Mm -hmm. That is so good. Delicious seasonal dishes, yeah. fresh local ingredients. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to have one more. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. You very much. I'm going to okay. call my family and ask them if they've eaten yet. Yeah, that's good. <laughs>